<clears throat> or the meeting. Okay, so the meeting is being recorded as usual. <clears throat> and uh, I'd like to also share the Yeah, this is how we share stuff. I'm I'm sharing something. Can you see that? Hello. Yes. Okay. Yes, we can now. Okay, good. Let me just um, alert people to the fact that we now migrated from the place where we used to take the writing center to uh, Microsoft Teams. So we're not meeting anymore on um, on there in that place that I mean, you'll, uh, last uh, on the, on the uh, uh, previous occasions, you had to kind of go from one place to another to a third until you reach the writing center. The writing center now is um, is a Microsoft Teams link that I gave you, and uh, we are on our way. It's much easier now because we have uh, direct access to Teams. Anyway, um, okay, so this is um, again um, an activity where we have a text and we also have uh, illustrations. We have visuals that are part and parcel of the text like we um, always do. We start with the visual and then we make the transition to the text. OK, so I would like you to spend perhaps two minutes unpacking the, um, the visual, which happens to be uh, a picture. Um, again, um, in order to systemize and organize the way we look at the visual, we need to unpack its physical details first, whether it has human beings, uh, any other elements of nature, perhaps, uh, whether it's about uh, it is of people, places, things, or animals. And then we try to um, kind of read into it. To, um, we try to come up uh, with interpretations as, um, you know, what is happening, and why uh, what is happening is happening. And then you try to connect the dots and make expectations about the, the text ahead. OK, uh, again, the more time you spend and invest on, on the picture, the more uh, information you will have about the text, even without reading the text. Why do we invest time uh, reading? Are looking into pictures um, any on the text because um, the likelihood that you meet difficult vocab items in the text is very big. Uh, the likelihood that you don't understand whole uh, chunks of words is also uh, very high. So uh, knowing about the, the text from uh, pictures that are um, there uh, I mean, in the text, whether above or um, below the text, can make all the difference when it comes to uh, you reading the text itself. So this is actually what we've been doing for quite some time, and you, I think you're used to it now. So two minutes, you guys um, are given so that you can look at the photo or the picture and unpack it physically and then rhetorically. You guys have two minutes from now. Uh, you may want to, to uh, jot down notes. You can take down notes. I mean, ideas that come to your mind uh, as triggered by the text itself. Uh, I'm sorry, by the picture or the visual.
Can you still see the? Uh, obviously, I did something. Can you still see the uh, the text or the picture? Yeah. Yes. Can. Okay. Good. Okay, so can we talk about it? No. Let's talk about the physical details of the visual. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yes, Doctor, we can hear you. Uh, let's let's talk about the physical details now that you have spent more than two minutes looking at the visual. So what did you come out with? Physical details. So what do we have? Nothing. Good morning, doctor. My eye. Yeah. Good morning. Uh, I can see in this photo. It is. I think it's a forest. Mm -hmm. Because I can see many, or everything is green. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I see a, a man. Okay. Who who looks uh, uh, who looks look the bird. He is looking. I think uh, exploring something about the bird. Okay. Which is, I think. Okay. This is this is all right. Thank you. Yeah. You're okay. welcome. OK, so can we have somebody else? May I? OK, Dave. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Maybe this man is trying to hunt the bird. It's a Macau kind of types, I think. So he's trying to hunt it, I believe. I, I don't know. The bird is trying to talk to him or to shout at him. So. Okay. And the man, he's looking, actually trying to Hunt that thing. Okay. So, any expectations, Ya Daifullah, about the text itself? Uh, do you th what do you think the text will be about, given uh, the fact that we have uh, a man and uh, you're saying that he is trying to hunt a bird? What do you think the text will be about? Absolutely, hunting birds. Uh, it's about bird hunting? Yeah, that's what I think. Okay, thank you, Daifullah. Thank you. Can we have somebody else, everyone? Anyone? Can, can we move from whatever is literal? Literal means harfi, whatever you can see physically, to whatever, whatever is inferential. Inferential means uh, is Tintag. Did he, you try to connect the dots? If we have a man and we have a bird, uh, so maybe there is um, this uh, relationship 
uh, that the 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 um, I mean this guy has with nature. He likes outside nature. He adores nature. So we move from whatever is segmental, whatever is basic, to whatever is suprasegmental, whatever is rhetorical. انتقل من المادي للمعنوي. Okay. Whatever is maddi means whatever physical details you have in the visual. And then you jump into conclusions. Okay. Sorry. So I think uh, I have some idea if I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I don't know, but I think the man yeah. is trying to, I don't know, it's in the forest. I can see him behind there. Some trees are falling down, so he's trying to cut the trees and put the bird away. Uh, but the mm. bird still like, uh, I don't know, defending that trees uh, or resisting. stopping the guy from that. That's yeah. what I believe. Yeah. I think. Can, can, can we make it very uh, cinematic by saying that we have uh, this conflict between man and nature? And by man means um, insane, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is moving from whatever is literal, whatever is physical, <laughs> to whatever is abstract. And this is how I want you to think of things. You normally start with, with whatever is literal, harfi, and then you make the transition to whatever is abstract. be a relationship of a sort. You try to establish connections between things and come, come up with grand and big conclusions. Uh, okay, so let's go to the text and see what it is all about. So uh, what I want you to do is, uh, I, I want you to read, read the text and see uh, whether your intuitions were correct or not. What, what what do I mean by intuitions? Intuitions, يعني إيه سموها حدسيات حاجات اللي تفهمها كده من بدون تفكير كتير يعني. Uh, okay, so um, your initial guesses, the guesses that you made are called intuitions. Uh, okay, so we're trying to verify, verify. نأكد يعني verify our intuitions whether our intuitions and guesses were correct or wrong from the text. يلا go ahead. I'll give you three more minutes to read the text and then we uh, come back and talk about it. Go ahead.
Let me know when you have finished. Okay. Hello, are you done? Yes. OK. So. Um, what do you think? Was the visual helpful in any way? Did it help you in any way? Did spending uh, a couple of minutes on the visual um, help? Uh, you understand the, the passage more, perhaps, or was it sheer uh, sheer waste of time? What do you think? No, it was helpful. Okay. Okay. So l l let's go to the title because the title can also help you a great deal. Um, do you think the title reflects what is happening in the text? When I say a beautiful bird, what do you think? Uh, somehow, yes, because the yeah, man. Some, yeah. Um, yeah, somehow. You, I mean, Daifula is saying somehow because he's not really um, sure that it helped. Because, and, and if you ask me, um, it didn't help when I first looked at the uh, the title and then read the text I, I didn't see a correlation between the two which means that titles can can sometimes be misleading okay but they shouldn't be titles should reflect what happens in a text right remember uh, we said that you look at the visuals and you also look at the title and then you connect them together and come up with expectations about the text. OK, so the visuals may help or may may have helped, but I don't think that the title have or has helped us in any way, especially with this beautiful um, part of the title, right? Uh, when I first read it, uh, a beautiful bird, I thought that it's, it's going to be about a bird that uh, perhaps sings, that um, uh, produces, um, you know, very beautiful sounds, and that would be it. So there is nothing beautiful uh, about it. I mean, I haven't seen any uh, any things in the text that uh, that would, um, you know, that would explain why we have the word beautiful in the title. Do you guys agree or not? I agree totally. Uh, yes. Because I believe, I believe, if the bird was standing mm -hmm. there alone and the man is out of the picture, I think the text will be matching. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you look at, you, if you put them together, this is what you're trying to say. No, mm -hmm. not. I mean that much, but I mean if in the photo or the picture mm -hmm. itself, just the bird, no mm -hmm. man, like the bird is only in the picture. The man is out of the picture. Yeah. Then I might say the text might you know, support the photo because there's a photo of a bird and he's talking about a beautiful bird. Yeah, I, I, unless, I mean, it, it just, um, you know, it came naturally. We, we expect birds to be beautiful, right? Exactly. Uh, I, mean, um, I mean, other adjectives could have helped more, but in, anyway, uh, what I'm trying to say is that sometimes um, you expect the title to help you, but it, it wouldn't. And, and the, the, these are very few and very rare cases, as um, I said. Anyway, so what's happening? Let's talk about the text, whatever you have understood. Hello? Yeah, what I understood there is the, uh, if I may, yeah, can, can we have your life for luck? I'm, I'm not sure if sure. we're still no, five. No. Are no, we still no, five no. or more? Let like five? Uh, 
uh, were, uh, yeah, including myself, were five. Can we have other people? We have Faisal, Lilian, Rehab, Reham, Sana. Can't you yeah, come? That's to my, yeah, uh, okay. Riham, uh, are you the one who was talking uh, yeah, you know, a couple of have, minutes ago? Okay, go ahead. Um, from from what what I have un understood from the passage, it's about uh, a doctor North. Uh, he he's working like um, a sign. I think a soccer of a bi biology. Scholar, he was trying scholar. a scholar, scholar of a scholar of biology. He was trying to. To uh, he 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 was tr uh, trying to to speak with, with with the bird, but the bird he doesn't want, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and he's left lifted him. So he asked his colleague, and they tried to find out him. But they I'm could not sure. Yeah, uh, uh, perhaps. Uh, yeah, that's um, that's okay because you've read it only once. Uh, I think if you read it more than once, uh, lots of ideas will uh, will will ask you to. Uh, we'll talk about it, and in the meanwhile, I would like you, uh, Rehab, to go and read it again because okay. you, you 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 seem to be confused about some of the events in, okay. in the text. Uh, can we have somebody else? I mean, Sana, Faisal, Lilian. I can go ahead, Doctor. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Dr. Norton's occupation was a scholar of biology. He learned about it all, animals on reading? a daily basis. Uh, we don't, yeah, we're not reading, Faisal. OK, what are we doing? Sorry. So what we're doing is that we uh, read the text already. Okay. We try to figure uh, the meaning out, and then it's time that we talk about it. So did you read okay. it? Yes, I read a little bit. OK, Tab, we'll, we'll give you the opportunity to read it on your own. OK. OK, and we'll come back to you. Have okay. a second. Thank you. And you're welcome. Um, I think we have Sana and Lilian. We also have Daifullah. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know because I wasn't paying attention for. Yeah, ma'am, we're, we're, we're basically trying to understand what was happening. Yeah, okay. Based on what I've read or like what I've understand out of the text, is that man was like. Uh, uh, he doesn't. He was shocked that he found a bird that is a talking bird. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Uh, yeah, where he is want to just uh, share that kind of uh, things or that that, that that talking bird to the people he knows, but no one believed him. So yeah. um, he was trying to make proof of that and to make everybody believe it that he yeah. found the bird. Well, and then he went for his, um, I don't know, looking for that bird with some expertise, some expert people. Yeah. Yeah, that's the end of it. Okay. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Um, okay. So can we have other voices? It's basic um, literal interpretation. What we're trying to do now is uh, reading for understanding, for basic understanding, for literal understanding, where we haven't moved beyond whatever is literal yet. This We haven't moved beyond the literal uh, to the inferential, like they say. This is a haga. We're trying to read uh, basics. It's the storyline, if I can call it a story. OK, so those who um, whom we ask to read one more time, are you done reading it? Yes. yes. OK, so uh, what did you understand, Yafi Asad, now that you have read it? I understood that uh, Dr. Dr. OK, when, when, I, when I ask you, OK, I'm sorry, Yafi Asad, this is a point of order. Um, whenever, whenever I ask you uh, about understanding something and whether you have understood, um, and you're going, to, uh, don't don't tell me that I understood. Uh, I mean, just go ahead and tell me what you have understood. 
يا اي سيد دكتور دارتنز اكيبيشن واز سكارف بايولوجي هي ونت اون ا جيرني تو فايند ذا بيرد هي ميد ا سيجنيفيكانت ديسكفري اون هيز واي اند هي فاوند ذا بيرد وين هي ديدنت فايند هي واز ديبريسد بت وين هي جات باك وين هي واز جوينج باك روت تو هوم هي واز جوينج هوم هي فاوند ذا هي فاوند ذا بيرد هي بوت هيم ان ا كيج سو هي ميد ا سيجنيفيكانت ديسكفري Yeah, absolutely. And this was a significant discovery. Thank you, Faisal. No problem. Okay. So um, it's basic, right? There is nothing to infer about it. It's um, um, the text is very straightforward, direct. It doesn't have very challenging vocab items, right? Um, any anything on the uh, abstract level that you would like to share? I mean, any lessons that you have learned? Because obviously, um, like I always say, whenever you read a text, you need to also be on the lookout about the messages that the writer may be trying to communicate to us. So, what do you, what do you think? What do you think are the messages, if any? Okay, uh, perhaps uh, um, I'll narrow it down uh, and speak about the scope, the scope of the uh, of the text. So, what kind of text is it? Is it fact or fiction? Factual or fictional? Fact. I think it's, it's fact. fact. It's it's fact. We're talking about um, a typical. Um, scientific scenario where you have a scholar. Scholar is another word for an educated, uh, uh, you know, um, for for a teacher or for a scientist. Okay, somebody who is uh, or he has deep knowledge about something. So um, it's a, like I said, it's a typical scenario where you have a scholar trying to uncover uh, secrets about something. And obviously, the secrets that he's trying to uncover here would be the ability of a bird to speak, right? Um, again, so this is factual because we have facts. Uh, the fact that he went somewhere and then he waited um, and then went somewhere else in order to check on, on this discovery. And on his way back, frustrated and depressed, he that the bird would come out and say hello, right? This is the discovery that he made. And this discovery is significant. Why? Why do I, uh, uh, I mean, describe this discovery as significant? Significant means very important. Why? Why do you think uh, this discovery is? Uh, oh, let me first of all ask you about the discovery. What is the discovery and why it is important or significant? The discovery is the bird. The bird? Uh, no, no, the bird, then uh, you don't discover birds. They are all over the place here, yeah, Fils. The talking bird, I think. He's ah, the fact, that, the fact that the bird yes. talks. Yes. Yeah, very excellent, yes. And uh, why? Why is, why is that important? Uh, I think because it was new to them that he, the, the bird is talking. Yeah, it's uh, obviously news for everyone, right? Yes, for yeah. Them. Yes. Okay, um, so that's why we're, we're, we're referring to this discovery as significant. And like I said, the word significant means very, very important. Okay, interesting. So do, do you guys, I mean, um, birds can be pets, right? Do you have a, a bird as a pet back home? Do you have pets? At all. No, I yes, I have a dog. You have a dog. Yeah, That's a big, <laughs> a big pet, right? Yeah, not, so, not a bird. Yes. What kind of dog? Because I mean, they have it's German Shepherd. Ah, uh, yeah, which is uh, um, normally. Uh, am I getting it correct? A little bit scary and stuff. Yeah, yeah, he's a bit uh, uh -huh. big, yeah, but he's not that scary. Yeah, because you're familiar with him. You've yeah. been with him for quite some time, <laughs> I guess. And then, 
uh, I mean, it's your dog, right? Yeah, Why it's my dog, yeah. But he's nice. He doesn't scream at anybody. Uh, can, can we have pictures of him? Uh, perhaps next time we can have... Uh, yeah, no problem. Yeah. yeah, no problem. I'll get the pictures. No problem. Thank you, Professor. Thank you so no much. problem, Doctor. Can we have, uh, I mean, do we have other pets? I mean, uh, people who have pets around? Dive, you don't have any pets? No, I don't. <laughs> okay. I mean, we have lots of them, but they're not, <laughs> I mean, it's around back home. Mm. But for mm. me, no, I don't. And it's a big responsibility, I think, yeah, for ah, of course. having, yeah. Having a pet is, is not easy, I mean... Yes, it's like having a son or a daughter. <laughs> yes, you have to take good care of them. They get sick sometimes, right? Yeah, take the, you uh, take them for a walk every day, you take give them a shower. Yes. So what happens if, they, uh, if uh, he or she gets upset? Would it bite anyone? No, no, it, if it, uh, it will uh, scratch you. Like it uh. will bark and scratch you. That's uh, it. Anyone or only, um, I mean, her owner? Or uh, not, uh, not familiar people, like someone she doesn't know. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Type. Um, so obviously we don't have any other uh, pets in class. Let's move to the second part of the, um, okay. Okay, so let's answer these questions. Can you see them? Yes. Okay, so I'll give you a minute or two. Look at them. Okay, so what is this story about? Remember? It's not about the answer as much as uh, it is about learning how to choose the right answer. How to choose the right answer would uh, um, require of you to read the four choices very carefully, which uh, some people do not do. OK, so read the four choices very carefully and then come up with an answer. So what is this story about? That's Carlo who finds the talking bird. Okay, would I assume that you have read the four answers here, uh, Faisal? Yes. Okay. So do you guys agree? Yes. Yeah, okay. So a scholar who finds a talking bird. It's not about a route or road to a new place. Route means road or... Um, um, Masar or Tari, yani. Um, why people debate each other? Debate means to to uh, go into a discussion about something. So why did Dr. Norton uh, go overseas? When you say go or tra travel overseas, you move from where uh, from your country to another country. So why did Dr. Norton go overseas? Mm -hmm. Can we have somebody other than Faisal? I think it's D, but I'm not sure. I th Which you, uh, okay, go ahead. Well, can um, you read it? He wanted to discover some, uh, some old ru ruins. No, absolutely not. What do you think? Anybody else? I think it's B. Yeah, he wanted, he was on a mission to find the talking bird. So mission, he means a job. He has a task um, and his task was to find the talking bird, right? This is what he wanted to do and this is what he accomplished eventually. At the end of the story, we can infer that. Infer means conclude, yani, natiga, yeah. so at the end of the story, we can infer that
C. C. Who the burden would be the, fa the factual proof that would persuade his colleagues. Yes. So you know, you know what a proof is. Proof is evidence. The lead. Factual means based on facts. Remember what happened with him at the beginning when he uh, uh, told his colleagues about um, the fact that there is a bird that um, can't speak. They they made fun of him. They uh, they laughed at the idea. They were not. Uh, they didn't believe, right? So yes. um, going overseas and bringing in the bird would be the factual proof that would persuade. Persuade means to convince them. to convince his colleagues. Yes, that's correct. Let's move to four. According to the passage, all the following are true except. So all for, uh, all four are correct, except except mean, means but. ولكن يا ما عدا. One answer is not correct. All are true. All are correct. But one is not. Doctor, uh, yes. if it is, I'm not getting wrong. I think D. No, think. you're getting wrong. <laughs> OK, <laughs> so you'll have to read it somehow. Uh, you're uh, mixing things of your rehab. I don't know whether you're rehab. Or yeah, you're no, me are rehab. OK, yeah. Mm. So it's um, um, it's J, the fact that J fed bread to the talking bird. We never had that part in, in the text. Right? Okay. Right. Yes. Okay. Fine. Okay. So let's look at these words. OK, so the, you, have, you have the word basis and you have an example. So basis to do something on time spaces is is how often you do it. You say on I do I come to the university on a daily basis. OK, um, I travel outside the country on a monthly basis on a monthly basis means every month. OK. So uh, instead of saying every day, I can say on a daily basis. OK, so my grandfather gets his hearing, his hearing checked on a yearly basis. So can we change it on a yearly basis? What can we say? Remember? Annually? When I, uh, yes, yeah. Um, so every year, we can simply say every year or on a yearly basis. Um, I go to the club every, every uh, on on a weekly basis. It means I go to the club every week. OK, so you have biology and biology is a science and it is the study of living things. Uh, we learned about the human heart in biology classes. You know what a heart is, of course. And then you have the word cage. And of course you have the let me make the uh, can you see the cage so a cage is something that holds an animal so it cannot leave so we, pu we put the parrots in their cage at night and then colleague colleague people that work with you people that study with you so a colleague is somebody you work with or you study with so my colleague helped me finish the job. And then you have colony. A colony is a country uh, controlled by another country. When we say, for example, uh, that at one point the USA was a colony of Great Britain. So Great Britain was the big country and the USA was one of its colonies. And then you have the word debate. So to debate is to seriously discuss something with someone. 
the husband and wife debated over which TV to buy. I mean, they started to discuss uh, the issue very intensively. And then the parties to, to the part the parties to leave. So to the parties to leave some place so you can go to another place. So the plane departed for Italy at three this afternoon. And then you have the word depress. So to depress someone is to make them sad. The bad news from what depressed the man. And then you have the word fa factual, which comes from fact. When some something is factual, it is true because it's based on facts. John learns about history from factual books. With facts, you normally have, you know, dates and times. You have historical figures. Uh, also, when we talk about the factual stuff, we talk about science and the numbers and the statistics that we get from science. And then you have the word fascinate. And to fascinate someone is to make them really like something. The kitten was fascinated by the ball of yarn. Um, it liked when you, uh, uh, if something is fascinating, it means that you like it so much. And then you have the word mission. And like we said, a mission is an important task or job. The woman's mission was to help sick uh, people. And then you have the transition word nevertheless. And nevertheless is more or less like however or but. So we use it in order to mark a difference between two statements. So uh, you use nevertheless to show that something goes against a fact. He is usually friendly. Nevertheless, he wasn't uh, this afternoon. So in, in normal circumstances, he's such a friendly guy, but for some reason he wasn't very friendly this afternoon. So that's why we're using Nevertheless, you can drop it and use but and you'll have the same meaning. He is usually friendly, but he wasn't this afternoon. And then you have occupation and it means uh, having a, a job or a career. So an occupation is a person job. So my father's occupation is a dentist, which means that he works as a dentist. Overseas, if you go overseas, you go to a country on the other side of the ocean, not necessarily. If you go to Bahrain now, you go overseas. And in spite of the fact that there is, you don't, you're not, um, Bahrain is not on the other side of the ocean. So the meaning is not that uh, big. So overseas is to move to another country or to travel to another country, whether it is far or near. Uh, per persuade, to persuade someone is to make them agree to do something. So the children persuaded their parents to buy them gifts. They convinced them. So route or route uh, is the way you go from one place to another. So I saw many houses along the uh, route or the route to the city. And then you have ruins. Ruins are old buildings that are not used anymore. I visited some interesting ruins in Greece. And then you have the word scholar. And scholar is a person who studies something and knows much about it. Um, the scholar knew much about art history. And then significant. When someone or something is significant, they are important. I read many significant novels as a literature major in university. And finally, you have the word volcano. And a volcano is a mountain with a hole on top where hot liquid comes out. And the example is when the volcano erupted, erupted means uh, broke out, Fagariani, smoke and heat fill the air. OK, so now let's do this interesting exercise. So one of the words. Or actually. 
two of the words do not belong. Circle two words that are related in each group. Two words are related and two others are not. So what are the, the words that are related? Let's do, let's start with uh, number one. Hello. I think number one is B and C. Yeah, B and C is color and colleague are related. How about number two, everyone? Hello. Maybe it's A and D. A and D, very good. So if you have a debate, debate means a hot discussion, a discussion, you need to persuade people. You need to convince them of your point of view or your opinion, right? Okay, let's move to three. I think uh, it's A and C. A and C? No, not really. If you ask me, I would say it's B and D, colony and overseas. If, if you go back to the text, uh, Dr. Norton went overseas and where is this overseas? He was checking one of the colonies, right? Where uh, there was this bird that took four. I think it's A and B. It's A I think, and B. Uh... For me, yeah. I think it is C and D. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's um, A and B are you normally when, when you depart. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yes, right? Yeah, I mean, this is kind of like two. I found at the end, I mean, these two are correct. Uh, and I found this is maybe like two. Mm. Uh, perhaps. Yes. Uh, um, one, 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 you know, couple, one pair is correct and one of yeah, yeah, the other is perhaps more correct, if I can say. So uh, depart, you depart, if you depart to a place, you have to have a route through which you depart. Absolutely, right? absolutely. Yes. 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 Let's move to five. I think it's a B and C. Um, yeah, no, I think, yeah, I would, I would think so, yes. Uh, whatever is factual is significant. Yeah, okay. Sorry. One final exercise before we leave. He had a very important job that he loved. He would like to uh, write a word that is similar in meaning to the underline. Okay, so important job is what? He had a very important job. A mission? A mission, a mission. yes, absolutely. So mission is an important job. So Linda was happy that she had good people at work. People at work. Colleagues. Colleagues, Colleagues. very good. Bernie had never taken that away home before. Ruins. What? Ruins. Route. Th that way, route or route. Yeah, very good. Your know, Bernie had never taken that route or that route home before. This is a true movie about her life. Factual. Factual. Factual, Factual movie, yeah. Our country used to have one uh, other country under our control. 
Kalinius. Okay. So this uh, the sentence with the bolded word that makes better. What, what, what does he want? Uh, uh, check the sentence with the, um, the bolded word that makes better sense. So one of them makes more sense. Which one? A. Uh, is it A or B? Yeah, Doctor from Brown. Okay. Uh, it's B. Yani, uh, let's read it out loud. Okay. Some people like to live in cities while others like to live in ruins. Ruins? So do people ruins. like to live in ruins? Maybe, I think. Now we're, we're choosing. So read the, the first sentence. Perhaps it makes more sense. Scholars can teach you many things that you didn't know. So I think that one would make more sense, right? Okay, let's move to the second one. I think it's a most people fly on plane when they go overseas. Yes, the, the second one is funny and it doesn't make much sense. Yes. Right? yes. Mm. Number three. Number three, everyone. I think it's A. A many many people. people feel happy when they depart on a trip. Yeah. But doctors never persuade people to take medicine. No, it's the opposite, right? They ask you to take medicine, right? So uh, it's A. If you travel overseas, you are still in the same country. Seeing new things fascinates most people. I think it's B. Yeah, and the first one is no. If you travel overseas, you leave your country. You leave the country that you are in to another country or for another country. So seeing new things fascinates most people. Yes, absolutely. So some people like to visit ruins to learn about the past. Getting something they want often depresses people. I think it's, it's A. It's A, yeah. Oh, you don't get depressed if you get or buy things, right? But people go to uh, ruined places like uh, ancient Egyptian monuments in order to learn about the past. Some, uh, some students like biology because they learn about rocks. When people debate about something, they have different ideas. It's me. Yeah, it's me. You know, there is no relation uh, or relationship between rocks and biology. You study, you study rocks in geology, not biology, right? So the second um, sentence makes more sense because if, you, if we have a debate, Nakash, uh, Awgadal, you have different ideas. That's why we call it a debate. You should see a scholar if you don't want to do your homework. People who talk about sad things can depress you. I think it's B. Yes, people who talk about uh, sad things, uh, of course, depress uh, you. Some students debate to get their work done faster. I try to persuade my friends to meet me for lunch today. <clears throat> I think it's B. Yeah, it's B. I try to persuade Akna, yani, my friends to meet me for lunch today. If you study biology, you will learn about different animals. People fall asleep when a movie fascinates them. It's A. It's A. So in biology, you study, um, you know, living things and animals happen to be living things. Uh, you don't fall asleep if the movie is fascinating. If it's boring, you fall asleep, of course. So if you depart late, you can get to school early. 
people who like to know the truth like factual stories. Be, what do you think? I yeah, think so it's neat. Yes, but if you depart late, you don't go to school uh, on time or early. Okay. Um, okay, with this item, we come to the end of the writing uh, center session today. Thank you so much, Elena. Bye bye. Assalamu alaikum, everyone.